where the uh, Minji is in the cabin. Karen's at row six. Wendy's at row one. And because of our interest in your safety, we'd like to have your attention for a few moments now. The flight attendants point out the safety features on this particular aircraft. Flying aboard a 737-900 extended range, there are eight emergency exits, two doors forward, one on each side, four window exits, two over each wing, and two doors aft, one on each side. The four doors are equipped with inflatable evacuation slides. All exits are marked with red and white signs. There are two strips of lighting on the aisle floor in a dark tab, and the strips are marked throughout to the exits. Should additional oxygen become necessary, the compartment above you will open, remain seated, reach the nearest mask, and pull it down and start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and secure the mask with the elastic band to just fit by pulling on the ends of the band. The bag attached will not inflate, but oxygen will be flowing. Be sure to secure your own mask before assisting others and continue to wear the mask. You've been advised that it is no longer needed. And to fasten your seatbelt, place the flat end into the buckle, adjust the strap to tight or length as you open this to top the buckle and pull the belt free. And keep in mind, your seatbelt must be worn at all times while you are seated. There's also a safety card located in the seat pocket in front of you. Please have a look at it before takeoff. It also shows that the evacuation slides can also be used for flotation. Your life vest is located underneath your seat. If directed by a flight attendant, remove it by pulling on the red tab. Tear open the pouch and remove the vest. Place it over your head. Pull the waist strap to the front. Attach the clasp and adjust the strap to meet your waist. Just as you leave the aircraft, inflate it by pulling down sharply on the two red tabs in the front. And it can also be inflated by blowing into the tubes located at either shoulder. The light will automatically activate in the wire. Life vests are located in four ceiling compartments. Two rafts are located forward. Two are located in cabin if you are traveling with an infant instructions for the use of infant life vests and on the safety information card we will distribute them as needed. Smoking is prohibited as is tampering with disabling or destroying any laboratory smoke detectors and federal law requires that you comply with the no smoking seatbelt signs as well as crew room instructions and posted placards. And due to height and security of one gas procedure goes one through four that utilize the laboratory up front here procedure goes to six in the very back one of Three laboratories in the back of the aircraft. We have two on aircraft left and one on the right. When this procedure is, so we have no line forming the front part of the cabin forward of row six end of that curtain there, which we will keep closed in flight. So, going to guard seat six in the very back just has to be a time your bathroom breaks to go inside with the aisle being free of the guard there. So, it's not to impede your movement back of the aircraft and we'll try to let you know what the times are during the flight to make it more convenient for you. And the reason for this procedure is the height and TSA regulations. Thanks in advance for your cooperation in this safety matter. But after do some jumps on the way, do have one more request for us to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. We can scan the look number one. I'll lead you to the cabin lights at this time. We're taxiing and take off your flight greeting line. Just push the light button overhead. Which one scan the look number one. All folks are turning from the flight deck. Just a short taxi, and we'll have you on your way north for Seattle. This time, I'd like to ask our flight attendants to please proceed to the takeoff.